In this video, I want to blend the data of this bar chart with another data set. We can see different product categories and I want to filter these categories by the responsible product manager. These product managers are coming from another data source and in order to blend these two data sources, we first go to the edit mode and switch from the story to the data mode. I also select the grid view to see my current dataset in a table format. To add another data source, we can either click on this little cube symbol or select the little arrow next to the current dataset and click on add new data. I already prepared a dataset, so I click on the cube and select my prepared data blending dataset. This dataset only consists of two columns, the subcategory and the product manager. In order to blend this dataset with the other one, we click on this blending symbol with the two overlapping frames. On the left side, we now have the big dataset and on the right side, we see our newly added dataset. In order to blend data, we have to find at least one dimension that can be found in both datasets. These two dimensions don't have to have the same name, but they should contain the same type of members. In our case, there is subcategory on the left and on the right. If it's a match, then the green tick appears. Coming back to the story mode, I create a page filter and instead of the SAC retailer dataset, I select data blending as the data source. I select product manager as a dimension and choose all members. I also want my users to only select single members. Let's drag this page filter to the filter panel on the right and make it larger to directly see all product managers. If I now choose, for example, Jack as a product manager, we see that he is responsible for TV accessories, whereas Mary is responsible for TVs and radios. That's a typical use case with data blending and I hope this was helpful for you too. If you want to learn all details in building highly effective dashboards, then please check out my SAC Masterclass on Udemy. Follow the link in the description and thanks for watching this video.